Welcome back to the channel guys. I don't know why I have this ugly skin, but I'm gonna teach you how to install the one block sky block for Minecraft, the one that everybody plays, right? The one that all the YouTubers play. If you wanna learn how to install the one block sky block original for Minecraft, just stay until the end of the video and let's get started with the tutorial. So in order to install the one block original, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to actually download and install the one block original. Now here, this is a very throughout guide. It has every step that you need, but I know that you wanna follow along the video. So just go ahead and follow along. Once you're here in the website, go ahead and scroll down. Like I said, you can read through it and look at the screenshots. But anyways, just scroll down and click where it says how to download one block original. Step one, click on this download button. That is going to redirect you to the one block original download side. This is a 1.20 update, meaning that it will work with uh, Minecraft 1.20.2. Now, what you're going to do in here is to scroll down and look for the most recent version. As you can see right now, it says 1.20.1, but do not be afraid because the 1.20.1 is 100% compatible with 1.20.2. And I'm going to show you how to get that working in the newest update of Minecraft. If you're watching this video in the future and there is Minecraft 1.20.3 out, this might still work because this is a 1.20 update. So it will work with any 1.20 uh, instance, right? So what you're gonna do once you're in here and you find the most recent version, if you find the 1.20.2 already in here, that's even better. But what you're gonna do is click on these little three dots in here and click download file. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds, the download for the file will start automatically. You don't have to click anything. As you can see, in my case, it's asking me where to save the file. But for you, it's just probably gonna download automatically. I'm gonna save it in my downloads folder. And like I said, your file might start downloading automatically and you will find it here if you're using Chrome in this little arrow. As you can see, there's my download. Once your file is downloaded, if you couldn't find it in the browser, you could probably find it in your download folder. Just go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop. This file is just gonna show us a zip file and you will be able to get it out of there uh, if you just have regular Windows. Don't worry because I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment, don't get confused. So what you're gonna do now, it's open your Minecraft launcher. Just go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Now guys, while the Minecraft launcher is loading, I have to let you know about today's sponsor and it's very important that you pay attention because Apex hosting has an incredible 50% off. If you wanna create a server for Java, Bedrock, it could be a one block, a sky block, it could be our craft, it could be pick someone, any mod pack that you wanna use, any custom world that you wanna create, Apex Hosting will do it for you with 50% off. I think that's insane. This is one of the biggest hell that Apex Hosting ever had and you will get that 50% off your first server if you use the first link in the description. Very important that you use that first link in the description. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. So once your launcher is open, it should look something like this. This. As you can see, I have iris and sodium selected, which is pretty much uh, shaders for Minecraft 1.20.2. If you wanna add shaders, just check out the latest video. But for you, it might look something like this, right? When you open your launcher, you might have regular Minecraft instead. It doesn't make a difference. All you're gonna do now is head over to installations. Once you're in the installations menu, go ahead and hover over the latest release 1.20.2 and click on this little folder that appears right here. If you're using iris and sodium, it doesn't matter. You could click on any of the folders. As long as you open the folder on a 1.20.2, 20.2 Minecraft, it shouldn't make a difference. So just go ahead and open it. And once this folder is open, you're gonna see a lot of files in here. I'm gonna actually minimize the launcher and I'm gonna make this folder a little bit smaller. You're gonna see a lot of files within this folder. What you're actually looking for is for a folder called saves. And as you can see, I have the saves folder right here. Go ahead and open that folder. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different folders in here. Those are pretty much all the worlds that you have in your Minecraft game, right? Because you have your game, you create a new world. Every time you create a new world, a folder is created in here. So the way that we're going to get one block original in Minecraft is by dragging this folder, this uh, zip file, actually, sorry, this zip file into this folder. Once the zip file is in here, and I'm gonna delete the one I already had, the older one block. Uh, once you have this file in here, you're going to right click on it and you're gonna click extract here. Like I said, it might look a little bit different for you because I'm using WinRAR. That's a, an external a third party software. If you don't have WinRAR, you could download it for free on the internet. Usually Windows 10 comes with some type of zip file extracting thingy. So you shouldn't be worried, right? So just go ahead and extract here. And as you can see, once you extract that folder, that uh, zip file, you could even delete it already. You get a one block, one block original. Mine is up here. The one I just created, it's uh, this one right here, I think. Yeah, this is the one I just created. I'm actually gonna delete the older one. So your one block original is right here. I'm actually gonna change the name to just one block 1.20.2.2. And I'm actually gonna open it for you guys so you can see the content inside of it. It's the save for the world pretty much. Now, pay attention to this. If for whatever reason, when you open this one block folder, you open it up and instead of having all of this, you have another folder. And then once you open that other folder, you have all these files. 
you got to get that folder out of here, right? Because in here, you got to have the safe world, right? And once you open that safe, it has to have all the files. I, I hope you understood that part. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but you got to get that in there. All the files in the folder, just one folder in here in the saves folder to have this actually working. Now you're gonna close this folder and you're gonna go back to your Minecraft launcher and you could launch Minecraft. Doesn't matter if you launch your shaders or if you launch vanilla Minecraft, it doesn't make a difference. Just open any Minecraft. Give it a second to load and I'll see you inside the game. Once your game is open, as you can see, we have Minecraft already open 1.20.2. You could click on single player and in here, you should actually find your one block original. As you can see, we have ours in here. And remember that I changed the name of that folder to one block point 20.2. Well, it actually shows the name right here, right below the white uh, letters. You should see the name of that folder. So I know this is the one I just downloaded, but just go ahead and click on play, right? Just click on that arrow. And as you can see, it's all loading. I'm actually going to make this game smaller. As you can see, I'm in 1.20.2. I'm sorry for the cut. Is that whenever I make the, the game smaller or I go off full screen, my whole screen goes black, right? So uh, as you can see, we're in 1.20.2 and we're in the one block. So you can see everything works, the progress works, everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn how to add shaders to play with some nice looking shaders, just click on the video that is showing on the screen right now. Bye bye.